Hello boys and girls, we started yesterday reading our story, Making Music. This is a nonfiction book, which means it's real. It's talking about real life things. Our author, the person that wrote the words, is Cameron McIntosh. Point to the title of our story, Making Music. Here's our front cover and flip it over for the back cover. All right, we're gonna read just a couple pages in our story and talking about some words that we are learning. All right, so here's our table of contents. So a lot of times books that are about real life things have a table of contents. We talked about it yesterday, that it gives you where you can go. So if you're wanting to learn about musical instruments, you go to page four. It tells you where you can go to learn more about certain things that you might wanna learn about. So here is the title of this section, A Part of Our Lives. Point to that in your own story, A Part of Our Lives. So that tells us what this section is going to be about, about music being a part of our lives. All right, let's read our first page. Music is an important part of our lives. It brings us together and makes our lives more fun. Now let's pause there for a second. It said that music, the author says that music is an important part of our lives. Why? Why is music important part, is an important part of our lives? Why do you think so? If you're near a grown up or a brother or a sister or someone in your house, tell them, why do you think that music is an important part of our lives? Hopefully you told someone. Now we can also look in our story and see what our author says why. So the author says, it brings us together and makes our lives more fun. Do you agree with that? I think that music is an important part of our lives because it brings us together and makes our lives more fun. I agree. It does make our lives more fun and it brings people together. All right, let's keep reading. Every culture has its own music. In some places, music has been a part of the culture for thousands of years. Musical instruments. So here's our new title, musical instruments. Most music is made with musical instruments. Do you play an, play an instrument? Now let's look at this word right here. Go ahead and point to it in your own book. Do you see how it's bold? It's a darker color. That tells me that this word is in our glossary. So if we flip all the way to the end of our book, this is our glossary. So if we don't know what instruments mean, we can figure it out in our glossary. It'll tell us. So it says instruments, devices used to make musical sounds. So it's different things that you can use to make musical sounds. So this page gives us a bunch of different pictures of different things that make music, like a piano or a guitar or a recorder or a violin. All of these are musical instruments that they, you, you can use to make beautiful music. There are lots of different musical instruments that you can, you can try. I want you to look at the guitar and look at the violin. Point to them on your page. How are the guitar and the violin the same? What do you see that is the same about the guitar and the violin? Tell someone near you. After you tell someone what's the same about these, now how are they different? What's not the same about them? Tell someone near you. When you're done telling someone near you, I'm looking at these pictures and I see that the guitar and the violin, they both have strings and they're both using their hands to play it. But it looks like what's different about it is that she's holding it down here on her body while he is holding it up or she's holding it up against their chin. So that's how they are alike and they're different. There is one special instrument that everyone can use, your voice is an instrument too. Did you know that? Your voice is an instrument? You can your vo use your voice anywhere. You can sing by yourself or with other people. A group of singers is called a choir. 
Singing in a choir is a fun way to learn about music. And there's that other bold word, you see it? It's bold, that tells me it's in the classroom. Choir, a small or large group of people who sing together. All right, we're gonna stop there in our story and I want you to grab our Reader's Writer's Journal. We haven't used this in a while. And I want you to turn to page 207, okay? And on this page, yours has is blank. Mine is the teacher one, so it has the words already in there. But I actually want you to choose a certain word. Since we learned about instrument, I want you to circle the word instrument and I want you to draw a picture of an instrument we learned about today. Then for number, for, for this question, I want you to go to page six. So we're gonna go to page six of our book. There's our page. And what is the girl in the picture doing? So what is she doing in our story? And you're gonna write what she did and what she's doing in the story. This is the page that you need to post on to Seesaw. You're gonna draw a picture of, a, of an instrument and then you're gonna answer the question, what is the girl in the picture on page six doing? When you're done, post it onto Seesaw.